Who are you? I'm Jules. Diamond in the? Rough. Welcome to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, Jules. Thanks, Narwar. It's a pleasure to be here. I like your shirt. Who do, thank you. Who do you have with you right now from the left? I've got my team with me. From the left, we've got Jason. That's our tour manager. We got 070 Young Shake right there. Got 070 Malik Schmalik right there, owner of Street Bible Mag. We got the Yes Jewels Agency right here, some of them. We've got Imani, my right hand, and Savior. And we've got Colby, who's looking up interview material because she runs our music department right now. And then we've got Chase, and we've Aaron Ricketts. I know his IG name, which is Aaron Ricketts, but I was—I thought maybe that wasn't his real name. Jules, that is a lot of people to feed. Uh, well, the rest of us get in in a couple of hours. <laughs> oh, oh there's more. Yeah, there's a lot more. Jules, I have a gift for you to welcome you to South by Southwest, a Spice Girls handbag. Where did you find this? You love the girls. Oh my God, I love especially of the spice. I do, I do. Variety. I love all the spicy girls. Um, what can it say about you and the Spice Girls? I don't want to be really lame and say like they were a part of laying the foundation for my girl power movement. I, TLC definitely came before them, but Spice Girls was like a big part of me. Yeah, I always wanted like a like a girl crew. You know, they, they kind of started that for me. Them, um, TLC, Destiny's Child. Those, I grew up in the 90s, so it was very, like, girl group oriented at the time. And I wish that would come back, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's, I just love them. I, I love that they were, I was. I always thought I was Scary Spice. So I told people that that, that was my Spice Girl. And uh, I used to try to wear big platform shoes. I see, y'all laughing over there? You guys trying to say I'm really scary? <laughs> Um, yeah, I love how they dress funky. Like, I just love everything about them. Yes, Jules. The early days, were you a caterpillar? <laughs> yes, I was. I was a caterpillar in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Period. Yeah, it was a music. <laughs> it was a musical theater. And, um... The caterpillar was actually a really lit role because first of all, my costume had like, I had arms and there was like a, you know, clear string connecting the rest of the arms. And I um, got to sit on this big like mushroom and fake smoke out of a hookah. And that was pretty cool for me at the time because I was like 11. And uh, I got to basically like tease Alice and it was really fun. Now, Jules, $100 a day for lemonade. What tips can you give? Uh, that is incredible. Yeah, I just made friends. I don't know if people actually like the lemonade, but uh, they would just come. How does one make friends? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you're pretty good at that. Um, I don't know. I think you just smile. I, I think that's a big part of it. You know, We were somewhere yesterday and people weren't smiling or talking to each other. I think it's really easy if you just look approachable. Yes, Jules. If somebody went through the American Idol tapes, they would find you singing Fergie? <laughs> Uh, no, we burned those tapes. Well, you will not find them, so don't look for them. What do you remember about that? Um, I just remember being really heartbroken because I saw behind the curtain of American Idol, which I thought was a very fair talent show, and uh, I came to realize that there was a, you know, I saw like people who were actually not singers making it to the next round just because they were kind of funny or whatever and uh, I saw a lot of great talent get turned away and I learned that um I was not going to be a famous singer <laughs> that was the biggest lesson I learned oh my gosh um, my face it like hurts from smiling right now this is crazy and I have a TLC record for you Jules incredible Oh my God! You love the silly ho, dude. I love TLC. I actually almost wore my um. <laughs> I do love silly hoes. I actually almost wore my T Boz shirt today. I'm pissed I didn't because this would have been amazing. She just shout out to T Boz. I actually got to meet her. This is why YouTube is so cool, right? Because you could like start your own YouTube show and end up interviewing Obama, like that girl that YouTube started, or you could be on Snapchat and and, and end up interviewing T Boz from TLC who like made you want to be like who you are today. So I had a great interview with her. She was super dope. And uh, yeah, I just love them. You make people cry. Um, I think I'm just very passionate about what I do. And uh, fuck you. I'm just very passionate about what I do. And um, 
I work really hard, so I guess I expect everyone on my team to work as hard as me. And I'm not very like, I'm sensitive when it comes to certain things, but when it comes to work stuff, I'm not really sensitive. So I just like like to get things done fast and sometimes I could come off as very abrasive. But uh, I think it, it just wasn't the job for Baby Mel, Baby Mel. Kobe and Imani, shout out to them because they could deal with me. Um, and they understand that it's not personal. Uh, but Baby Mel did not understand that. So L miss you though, Baby Mel. I love you. Do you have any crowd surf tips? Um, never crowd surf in a dress or skirt, ever. Uh, definitely take your phone out of your pockets. Um, ladies... Trying to go on your stomach so that people don't touch your butt is actually not smart. Um, just go ahead and go, just go on your back. And uh, yeah, that's it, you know? I don't know. You just gotta, you can't like jump into a crowd and then get mad when stuff happens. Like you gotta just jump into the crowd and know that anything could happen and just rock with it. I, I like being around people, so I don't care. Obviously there's like certain times where it's been annoying. Yes, Jules, how do you speak to cops? Uh, it depends on which cops we're talking about. We're going to fix it. I love the expressions you use. Oh yeah, I try to, um, for all my kids watching, I, you know, the, I, I have a, I'm a firm believer that if you like just communicate, things could be fixed, you know? So I try to be nice when there's uh, a moment where I feel like things could get heated and escalated, um, especially right now in our time. So I try to work with the cops. And then um, if they decide to not be nice, then I change. How many <laughs> times have you sat in the back of a cop car? Man. Well, just with Shake, uh, one, two, three, like, I don't know, that's just with you. And then there's the time I got caught stealing lip gloss at Walmart. Um, yeah, I've, I've sat in the back of a cop car a couple of times. What's the downside of being an influencer? Sometimes you just, like, want to stay in bed and not, <laughs> and not do a bunch of things. Or, you know, sometimes you're just not in the greatest mood or... Um, even though I put a lot of my life out there, uh, there's some things I don't want out there. And so there's there's people that don't really understand like the cr crossing the line of like privacy. Um, so it's kind of just training people on how to deal with you, I think. And uh, um, yeah, I don't know, there's ups and downs. Like 90% like of the time I love it, 10 to maybe 80% of the time, but like 10 to 20%, I think now that I'm getting older, um, so old. <sighs> I uh, I just want to have like I also want to have a I'm trying to learn balance so I want to have a personal life and keep some things to myself and um, you know there's certain people in my life that also want that and so I had to learn how to balance being very open with my experiences in my day to day and um, keeping some things for just me and like people in my life. How do people describe you? I don't know. On their phone. It depends on uh, who you ask. I think I think a lot of people would say good things and a lot of people would say bad things. How would they enter your name No, Yes Jules? Probably like short hair or yes Jules. Short hair? Jules what? Oh Jules with a peach. Jules Miami. I'm sure a lot of people associate me with Miami so it's probably Jules Miami or like hopefully. Or Jules Shake. Or Jules Shake yeah or Jules 1am or like whatever. Hopefully that's what I'm being saved as or just Jules. Hopefully there's not a ton of Jules out there. Oh seven oh Jules definitely not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Maybe they save me as Jules mom. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Why should people care about yes Jules? Why should people care? I don't know. People don't need to care about me. I care about myself. Uh I think people could just care about what they want to care about. For me, like I am just here to enjoy my life and help other people enjoy theirs. I like creating experiences. For people and i love music and so if you like music you should probably fuck with us because we've got a lot of it and um yeah i don't know i think i think that's it well thank you very much yes jules keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do
newest member of the Yes Jewels Agency. We've got Narwar right here. He uh, leads all our content and interviews. He's very quiet sometimes, but uh, as you could see, he holds a good pose.